Thank you for joining Clicking and Surfing Blog in Huntington Beach, California. My name is Lillian Walker, Broker and Equity Maximization Specialist. I want to give you a recap for the Huntington Beach Market Update for the closed sales in the month of May, which is the most recent data that we have as reported by DQNews.com. So just to give you an idea, we'll go through the four different zip codes in Huntington Beach. They are 92646, which is on the south end bordering Fountain Valley and Newport Beach, 92647, which is on the northwest side of Huntington Beach, basically off of Golden West and Edinger, 92648, which basically covers the downtown Huntington Beach area, and 92649, which is basically the Huntington Harbor, the northwestmost section of Huntington Beach. So let's start off with 92646. The median value was 493500 for the homes sold in that zip code, and that's for the closed sales in the month of May 2012. That median value was 18.9% higher as compared to the median value for May 2011. There was a total of 74 sales, which was 19.4% more sales than we had just 12 months ago. Just bear in mind, all the figures that I'm going to, to share with you are for the stats and the numbers reported for the month of May, and we'll talk about how that compares to 12 months ago. So the next zip code is 92647, and the median value there was 470,000, which was just 0.4% less than the median value 12 months ago. That was a total of 37 sales, which was 8.8% more sales than we had 12 months ago. 92648, which is downtown Huntington Beach, experienced a median value of $715,000. That's 5.8% more median value as compared to 12 months ago, and that was 67 sales, which was 67.5% more sales than we had 12 months ago. That's a phenomenal number, 67% more sales than last year. Incredible. 92649, which is the north, the most northwest portion of Huntington Beach, which covers basically all, all five islands, Admiralty Island, Gilbert Island, Davenport, Humboldt, and Trinidad Island, and Coral Cay, and uh, the Huntington Harbor Village area. That median value, believe it or not, was 581,500. That's 16.3% greater median value than we had compared to 12, mo 12 months ago. That was a total of 56 sales, and get this, 69.7% more sales than we did 12 months ago. Those numbers are absolutely spectacular. With the exception of 92647, which had not even a 1% drop, it was 0.4%, four tenths of a percent. It's basically flatlined as compared to 12 months ago. Now, let me call your attention to one little detail. You know, you need to look at what's behind the numbers because these numbers would suggest that you know, the lowest median value that we have here in Huntington Beach is 470,000. The highest right now is showing 715,000. So I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, well, we can get an average home for any one of these prices that we talked about. However, that's not necessarily true. When you actually look at the closed sales and actually look at the raw data, what you see is that of the homes that are for sale right now, the ones that are selling are in these price points that I just mentioned to you. So in other words, 92649, don't think for a second that you can get a house in the harbor for 581,500 because you're gonna be sorely disappointed. Now what you will find are condos in the 92649 zip code that are selling for 581,500. Can you find a house in the harbor in the six and the 700,000 range? Absolutely but there's enough condominiums that are selling in that price point or you have homes in the Huntington Harbor Village that are in that five to 600,000 price range that is giving you a median of 581,500. So the bottom line is you need to know what's behind the numbers. Numbers are very important because it kind of gives you a gauge and a measure as to where the market has been, not necessarily where it's going, but where it has been. 
and it kind of gives you an indicator. It's kind of like giving you a pulse of where the market is. If you're going to you know, want to put an offer on a home right now, I would suggest that you and your real estate advisor sit down and take a look at what the closed sales are doing in the last 60 days for that particular track where your subject property is located and take a look at based on uh, the closed sales, once those properties are sold, did that close for 98, 99, 100, 102% of list price? You know, what when the dust settled, where where are the numbers? So one of the things that we're seeing throughout Orange County, not just in Huntington Beach, is that because the inventory is low, that once the properties are priced correctly, oftentimes those homes are selling for more than asking price, especially at this price point. So what I've been suggesting, not only to my buyers, but also to my agents, in order for them to get their offers accepted, in addition to having a letter of approval by not only a mortgage bank, but also a major institutional lender and or a credit union, you also want to make sure that you have, uh, in addition to that, you have a strong offer that is going to be competitive with other offers. Because right now, 30 to 40 percent of the offers out there are all cash offers. Many of them by investors, but not all of them are by investors. And sellers are going to want to look at what's going to not necessarily give them the highest price, but what's going to give them the highest net with the highest probability of closing in the shortest time frame. Every day that that house stays on the market while it's in escrow, it's at risk of falling out for whatever reason. So sellers are very conscious as well as their brokers that are representing them. So if you're looking to put an offer on a home, there's a lot of different factors that you have to keep in mind because it can be very frustrating putting offer after offer after offer and having them rejected. But there is a strategy that you can employ that's not just pie in the sky. You actually can look at some hard data that will kind of give you an indicator which way to go. And a good experienced agent is going to be able to help you navigate those waters. So I hope this information is helpful and useful to you. I would love, absolutely adore, to be able to educate, encourage, and empower you in your quest to exit out of where you are right now and walk into the home of your dreams. My name is Lillian Walker. Be sure to circle back again and check us out here at the Clicking and Surfing blog. And if you have an idea for a show that you'd like to, you, you know, for me to cover, let me know. I'm always open to suggestions and ideas. And if you're in Huntington Beach, make sure you stop by and visit me. I'd love to sit down and talk to you about real estate. Take care. Have a fantastic rest of the week. And I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye-bye now.